Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has declared martial law across the country after Russian troops entered the border and hit major targets targets near major cities. Ia de Vera will give us the details live. Yes, Ia. Harleen, earlier today, Mr. Putin announced a special military operation which is equivalent to a declaration of war with an aim to demilitarize Ukraine. Shortly after Mr. Putin's allegedly pre-recorded television address at around 5 a.m. Ukrainian time, explosions were heard near major Ukrainian cities, including the capital of Kyiv. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has imposed martial law, saying Russia has targeted Ukraine's military infrastructure. Ukrainians who had long braced for the for the prospect of an assault while never knowing precisely when it would come, were urged to stay home and not to panic. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden offered his sympathy to the Ukrainian people who are suffering from an unprovoked and unjustified attack by the Russian military forces. Other world leaders, including UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and head of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen, have also released statements condemning Russia's invasion. Russians' target is not only Donbas. The target is not only Ukraine. The target is the stability in Europe and the whole of the international peace order. And we will hold President Putin accountable for that. Earlier, Putin issued a stark warning to other countries not to meddle, saying whoever tries to impede us, let alone create threats for our country and its people, must know that the Russian response will be immediate and lead to the consequences you have never seen in history. Meanwhile, Russia has announced the closure of its airspace for civilian flights on the western border with Ukraine and Belarus, while Ukraine closed its airspace to civilian flights, and Europe's aviation regulator also warned against the hazards of flying in areas bordering Russia and Belarus. Harleen, in a recent tweet, Mr. Zelensky said that all Ukrainian citizens who are ready to defend the country will be given weapons and lifted from their sanctions as part of territorial defense. Harleen? Thank you, Ia Devera, reporting live.